So it is my great pleasure and distinct honor to introduce to you today Professor Daniel Bennett, Austin B. Fletcher Professor of Philosophy at Tufts University. Professor Dennett received his BA from Harvard University in 1963 and his doctorate degree from Oxford in 1965. He then promptly went on to take the philosophical world by storm. In addition to being author of over 300 scholarly articles on various aspects of the philosophy of mind, he has published in journals ranging from artificial intelligence and behavioral and brain sciences to poetics today and the journal of aesthetics and art criticism. And he reminded me today an article in the journal of philosophy, a history article on Descartes. So he has run the gamut. He is also the, uh, the author of numerous highly influential books. His first book, Content and Consciousness, appeared in 1969, followed by Brainstorms, 1978. <coughs> Elbow Room, The Intentional Stance, Consciousness Explained, Darwin's Dangerous Idea, Kinds of Minds, and Brain Children, a collection of essays. Sweet Dreams, Philosophical Obstacles to a Science of Consciousness was published in 2005 by MIT Press. Today, Professor Dennett will, will deliver a talk entitled Humor and Evolutionary Computational Theory. Please join me in welcoming Professor Daniel Bennett. <laughs> history is full of, of failed attempts to analyze humor. There have been lots of humor theories. Uh, uh, Aristotle, Hobbes, and Kant had humor theories. But then Darwin had one, and Schopenhauer, and Bergson, and Freud, and Minsky, and Kristler, and the Three Stooges. <laughs> <laughs> it's very important that it sneaks up on <laughs> Kant had a theory. Uh, the, he's the father, you might say, of incongruity resolution theories, of which there have been many. The sudden transformation of a strained expectation into nothing. Well, not either 
very perceptive, I think, or certainly not funny. Uh, uh, Schopenhauer uh, followed Kant, and there have been others. Um, Marvin Minsky, now we're getting to the 20th century, has, has a theory of a faulty logic theory. More particularly, you might say it's naughty logic. He has a theory which says that it's, uh, it's naughty reasoning that uh, is at the heart of uh, theory. And there's some, all of these things have some good bits. Henri Bergson, famous for his mechanical theory of humor, and Freud has his release theory. So what we have is a whole bunch of theorists looking at different parts of the elephant and coming up with interesting reflections on whatever part they happen to uh, get in contact with. And so what none of them do is put it all together. That's what we think we've done. We have a unification of all of the insights grounded in evolution. You have to go back to evolution if you're going to get a good theory of, of humor. And the sketch of a model of how the brain probably works, and that's the early model of humor, which I'm going to introduce to you now. So look at the variety there is in humor. There's slapstick, there are puns. I like this one, the happy medium between male and female. Think about it. Or this one, the face of a child can say it all. Especially the mouth part. <laughs> Why is the sky blue? Because I said so. 